Today we learned about a young boy named Joash who became king at the age of seven. Seven. Could you imagine? How many of you are seven right now? Why don't you put that, put that in the comments? If you're seven, raise your hand, put it in that little hand emoji. Like if you're seven years old, could you imagine being king? But that's exactly where Joash found himself in our story today, is that he was seven years old and all of a sudden he is in charge of an entire kingdom. That's crazy. What did Joash do? How did he get through that trying time? How did he become one of the greatest kings that Judah had ever known? Well, here's, the be- here's one thing that Joash understood about himself and he asked is that he said, I don't know everything. Joash knew that even though he was seven years old, he didn't know everything. There was still so much more he needed to know in our life, in his life. And sometimes in our lives, we need to admit the same thing, that we don't know everything because we don't. We literally can't know everything. Now you can know a lot, but you can't know everything. And so we have to be willing to do the second thing that Joash did, and that is to ask for godly advice. That's what Joash did. God, he asked for godly advice. He went to the priest Jehoiada and he said, I need you to guide me. I need you to show me where to go and what to do. I need you to teach me. And Jehoiada gladly did it. And then Joash was known as a person who followed God for his entire life. You see, one thing that Joash didn't have or he didn't show in the story is that he didn't have pride. Pride is believing that we know everything and that we don't need the advice of others. And that can cause a huge problem. That's why we learned in our power verse today, it says uh, pride leads to conflict. Another version even says that pride comes before the fall. So to help you understand what I'm talking about, let me show you, let me show it to you. So let's imagine this, this, this jar right here is you, that this is everything. And then what's inside of this, this is all of your knowledge. Now, are you full of knowledge? No, there's still plenty of space in here. But if we are full of pride, if we say that, well, I know everything, I don't need to know anything, and we don't listen to others, well, watch what happens. If we take, let's imagine that all of these ping pong balls and golf balls, let's imagine that each one of these Each one of this is knowledge of people, our parents, our teachers, our pastors, our leaders, our small group leaders. They are all trying to give us advice, godly advice, worldly advice. They're trying to tell us what to do and what we should know so we can grow up. But as they keep giving us more and more advice, uh uh-oh, we're full. And we have all this more advice here that we don't have room for. So what are we supposed to do? Well, we're gonna take a break for a quick second. We'll be right back and I'm gonna reset this and I'll show you what it is. Okay, so now we've reset the whole shot. We've reset this, we've reset this jar. And now let's pretend that we actually got rid of all of our pride and we are now ready to have the knowledge of the people around us. So instead of starting with all the popcorn kernels, we're actually gonna start we're actually gonna start with all the ping pong balls and see how many of these we can get in here. Hopefully, all of them. We're already past how many ping pong balls we got in last time and I still have a whole lot more. Here we go, last two. See, I got two more. I got all of my ping pong balls in there. But wait a minute, what about everything that you know? What about all the stuff that you know? Well, here it is right here. Let's watch what happens when I pour it in. Are we gonna have enough room for everything? I don't know.
It's filling up, but I still have more room. I still have more room. Even though I'm running out of this space, I still have more room. I'm still not full. Do you think I could fit more in here? Well, I have a whole nother cup more. Let's see how much more we can fit in here. Look at that. We got all of the ping pong balls and all the popcorn in the same jar. Something that looked entirely impossible just a few minutes ago is now possible. We see it right here. Isn't this amazing? You see, pride does this to us. If we let pride inside our lives and say that we know everything and we don't need godly advice, then we don't have room. But if we take pride out of our lives, if we surrender ourselves to the people who are trying to teach us, to the people who are trying to give us godly advice, we can get so much more. We can fill in all of the gaps with all of the knowledge. You see, if we listen to God, I mean, if we listen to godly advice, God will be pleased. That's what happened to Joash. God was pleased that Joash listened to the priest, Jehoiada, and he listened to godly advice and he followed all the instructions of Jehoiada, uh, all the instructions of that priest. See, if we follow all the instructions of our parents, our teachers, our, pa our, our pastors, our small group leaders, our coaches, if we listen to the advice that they give us, God will be pleased because we'll be following Him with all our hearts, soul, minds, and strengths. Let me pray for you right now. God, thank you so much. Thank you so much that you give us godly leaders. You give us people who follow you. you. Put them in our lives that show us the direction that we should go. I pray that you help each one of us to follow your advice, to follow the advice of the people that you have placed in our lives, to know which way to go, that we say no to pride that we humble ourselves, that we understand that we don't know everything and that we need advice from others. I thank you so much that you bless us when we follow you and you are proud of us. Thank you so much. In your name we pray, amen.